In 1973, a cell phone weighed about a kilogram and wouldn't fit into your pocket. But hey, it didn't need to because we had call boxes mounted on every second street. Okay, call boxes aren't cool now, but then again, neither were cell phones of the time. I mean, you couldn't expect WhatsApp, Wi-Fi, SMSs or social media. Those didn't come until much, much later. When buying a mobile phone in 1992, the features you'd look for and boast about were things like how much talk time you could get from a full charge or how long the battery would last. But over the years, things have changed. And before we knew it, we were SMSing each other, data became a household term, and our batteries were being drained by performance-hungry cameras and blurry screens. That's when the hunt for USB ports and chargers became part of our daily lives. Imagine having to do that in a rural area where power is a luxury and possibly provided by weak solar panels with dodgy wiring. I don't envy them, but what innovation could we find from there? We have seen 1, 2, and 3G come and go. And while 4G starts to get old, 5G awaits in the winds to take over. Wireless charging and contactless pay chips now come standard. Also, buttons have given way to touch screens, which seems to get bigger and bigger, which is good, until they break, which is bad. But that's only the start. Wait until you see what's coming. In fact, be part of what's coming. In the not too distant future, everyone will have access to electricity, a smartphone, and mobile data. Even your phone could be a wearable device on your shirt or even built into your body. You'll even have an e-butler that organizes things for you using artificial intelligence. It's not that far off either. In fact, some of these are available today. Sign up today and study electrical engineering at WITS and help shape the future.